A few things about DJI Pocket 3. You don't always need a tripod to make the DJI Pocket 3 stand on any table. Uh, I have a base plate that is attached to the battery extender and it's pretty stable when you want to mount it on any table. You don't always need to keep the wide angle lens in this case when not being used. You can put it on the camera and when you close it, it's not going to completely turn back into this area but rather it will just turn facing it to monitor when you put it back in the case you can still put it like this and it will still be okay so you don't have to remove the wide angle lens all the time before putting back into the case so you have connected this battery extender to pocket 3 and let's say you're filming there's this feature where you can actually put the dji microphone version 1 into this one and you can use two microphones with it, the receiver it goes over here. Whenever the power of this battery extender depletes, what happens is that whatever is connected to this port also loses its power and so it stops working. That's a very bad thing when it comes to this extender. After recording for a few minutes now, we can see the battery life remaining in this uh, DJI Pocket 3. It says it's still at... Okay, so the battery extender has completely been depleted of its uh, charge which means it's currently running on this pocket 3 even if I remove this there's not going to be any change shown in this battery bar which means it's completely off the battery which is annoying because it's just been few minutes and the battery life of pocket 3 really sucks if you were to buy this product make sure that you have a brick that charges this battery pack quickly because it's scary quick when it charges but it also depletes very fast as a tool that captures very stable footage with a really good quality i think it works fantastic but when it comes to battery life it's bad terrible i don't dare to film the 4k footages at 60 frames per second all the time because that will keep on draining the battery a lot i think you don't need to film at 4k 60 frames per second with these kind of cameras 24 frames per second is how you would want to film and also it gives more flexibility for this camera to control the exposure at low light situations so uh, make sure you use the product right to get the right output